Sir Kunikazu Okumura, the great profiteering sinner of greed. Your success and global fame exists due to the tyranny you reign over your employees. Thus, we have decided to make you confess all your crimes with your own mouth. <laughs> From the Phantom Thieves. I must take care of this before it becomes a problem. I've received a calling card from the Phantom Thieves. I need you to send it over to the police. Don't make me repeat myself. Give it to the police. That's an order. These scoundrels have threatened me. Aren't the police supposed to side with law-abiding citizens? I will not fail. This matter is urgent. Take care of it at once. I need to let everyone know about this. Textbooks open to page... What is the answer? This is it. Correct. Nice going! He even figured out when we're gonna do it? This is different from normal. He has some nerve delivering the calling card to the police himself. Either he's certain his heart won't be changed, or he's colluded with the police from the beginning. As strange as it is for me to say, I could see that being the case. Whoa, the comments are coming in hot! Look! Take him down, Phantom Thieves! I don't care what the Phantom Thieves do as long as they show up, haha. Just do it quick, lol. They're just saying whatever they want. At this point, all they care about is seeing those in power beg for forgiveness. Damn it, this isn't a game! The means and the ends have been reversed. We're starting to be seen purely as entertainment. But we gotta do this! We can't just drop everything now! Considering the existence of the palace, his desires are indeed distorted. In a sense, the earlier we pull the root, the better. And given the issue concerning Haru's fiance, we don't have another choice in the matter. If we don't, then everything we've been doing up until now would just be for nothing. I believe this is best too. After hearing my father speak, I saw no remorse in him. Ryuji and Haru are right. Honestly, everything the public is talking about does bother me a little. But Okumura may just be the one behind the mental collapses. We can't leave this be. I feel like he's hiding something. Something big. True. And we already sent the calling card after all. Let's do this like we always do. And steal his palace's treasure!
That's it. That's the treasure. What? Emergency launch sequence will soon be activated. Certain areas may be shut off or destroyed. I repeat, emergency launch sequence will soon be activated. All personnel is advised to evacuate immediately to a safe area of the facility. In the world? There is no time to deal with this. I must be making my own. You can all stand and watch in despair. Like we caught up to you, Mr. CEO. I. I'm sorry. I've had a change of heart. I'll prove it. Father. Haru, you were always so agreeable. Whether it was in school or after, you only ever did as I said. You've become so admirable. What's gotten into him? Ah, oh, yes. Do you remember, Haru? You cried your eyes out when my work kept me from attending your first sports day. It was then that you stopped talking back to me. Honestly, you had me worried. Still, you stood up against me and became an independent young woman. Nothing could make a father happier than seeing that. You still remember something that happened so long ago? Back then, you poured your heart into making delicious food. You wanted to bring joy to others. Why did you change? Forgive me, Haru, but I would never last if my treasure was stolen. Please, don't do it. I'm begging you. Father, let's... Let's end it here. Ah, Haru. You foolish girl. Overcome failure at any cost, even if it means betraying others. That is our family motto. The cold reality of kicking people down is part of business. Virtues and sentiments are for losers. What happiness can be found in acting with justice but losing the battle? What happiness can be found through profit, gained by crushing the hearts of others? Better that than fail. I'd much rather destroy others than wallow in the misery of debt. Regardless, I shall soon set sail into the political realm. To the upper echelons of the world. To Utopia. My name shall be etched in the annals of history. Make your decision, Haru. If you cast them away, I'll let you join me on this ship. Stay and you will be incinerated along with this entire base. Now then, what is your choice? 
you fool. Noir! What about you there? Don't you want to get out of here alive? Want to board my ship? You're fighting against the others, are you not? <laughs> so you were spying on us. You'll gain nothing by staying with them. That's what you believe, isn't it? You are absolutely right. Sell them out. Cut them off for your own personal gain. I'll even give you the switch once you take off. So, do we have a deal? I'll give you ten seconds. Time is money after all. <laughs> Don't take me for such a fool. Everything's gains and losses for you, isn't it? I pity you, Mr. CEO. You lived with Haru for 17 years and you still haven't realized? In this world, there are tons of things that money and fame can't buy. What point would there be in only saving myself? <laughs> Nobody could replace these guys, period. You know what that means? Your offer was a no-go from the start! What? <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, it hit! Ha. Way to go, me! Wowza! You're so cool, Mona! It's <laughs> <laughs> still the show, man! <laughs> Father. So much for the negotiation. <laughs> you rebels. There is time before launch. I will crush you all! Very well, then. Bring it! You little! You won't get out alive! <laughs> <laughs>